In this week's flashback, Friday, it was this day seven years ago, hundreds of Wisconsin troops left for Iraq. A send-off celebration honoring the soldiers from the 127th Infantry was held at Camp Shelby, Mississippi. That battalion is based in Appleton, but has soldiers throughout the area. Fox 11's Jay Olstad takes us to the send-off. Far from the rolling hills of Wisconsin. Smoke signs that come from Mississippi. And even farther from the war-torn streets of Iraq, stand 620 soldiers of the 2nd Battalion, 127th Infantry, who are ready for war. I know I speak for the nearly 6 million people in the state of Wisconsin whose pride in you can't be put into words. Governor Jim Doyle was among many people, including family members, Wednesday to give these soldiers one last send-off at Camp Shelby in Mississippi. It is the place where these soldiers, most of whom are from northeast Wisconsin, have been trained for the last two months. A lot of excitement along with uh, you know, th just the unknown. Green Bay native 22-year-old Brian Edelmeyer isn't alone, though. His family drove down from Wisconsin to say goodbye one last time. I'm glad they came down for this. It's great to see him. Especially now, because his mother, Julie, knows where her son will be. Well, we'll miss him, but um, it's something that they, they have to do. It's going to be hard. <laughs> for Fond du Lac resident Tim Rochin, it's hard knowing what he's leaving for, but mostly what he's leaving behind. His wife, Sarah, and their three small children. You know, I got a six-year-old son and uh, twin girls. Uh, <laughs> and a lovely wife obviously, obviously that uh, we're just gonna miss immensely. So for now, the hugs are a little tighter, the kisses a little sweeter. It is today's snapshot of a country at war. These soldiers will now have a five-day leave to spend with family until they head out to the Middle East August 17th, a destination they'll call home for about a year. At Camp Shelby, Mississippi, Jay Olstad, Fox 11 News. The battalion's mission was to protect military convoys in Iraq. Late last year, the last remaining American combat troops left Iraq. 